Facebook is dangerous. Now, Facebook might not intend to be dangerous, but surely they don't respect the power of the technologies they are playing with, like a toddler who has gotten his hands on a book of matches. Facebook has two competing missions, make the world more open and connected, and make a lot of money. And as Facebook attempts to serve both these missions, they wreak havoc on the rest of us. Look at its version of disrupting the newspaper industry. Facebook has made it easier to share what you're reading with friends. At the same time, Facebook has redirected most of the media, ind indus media industry's profits away from actual journalists and into its own coffers. They have done it without the benefit of recreating a local news desk, without conducting the hard-nosed journalism that keeps politicians and businesses honest, and without meeting even the most basic journalistic standards. This kind of creative disruption that doesn't actually create anything is just disruption. Federal Reserve Chairman Powell has said publicly that the process for launching Libra needs to be patient and thorough, rather than a sprint to implementation. Secretary Mnuchin reinforced those views at his press conference yesterday. We strongly agree with both of them. We will take the time to get this right. We expect the review of Libra to be among the most extensive ever. We are fully committed to working with regulators here and around the world. And let me be clear and unambiguous, Facebook will not offer the Libra digital currency until we have fully addressed regulators' concerns and received appropriate approvals. The Libra Association will govern the Libra blockchain network and administer the Libra reserve. It will establish the rules of the road and will prioritize privacy and consumer protection. And it will implement safeguards that require service providers in the Libra network to fight money laundering, terrorism financing, and other financial crime. We expect these safeguards will at least meet, if not exceed, existing standards and improve the integrity of the global financial system. To facilitate Libra's use, Facebook has established a subsidiary known as Calibra that will offer one of that will offer one of many digital wallets on the Libra network. Using the Calibra wallet, consumers will be able to save, spend, and send Libra right from their smartphone. Calibra is committed to protecting the privacy of its customers. The Calibra wallet will not share individual customer data with the Libra Association or with Facebook except for limited circumstances such as preventing fraud or criminal activity and complying with the law. After all the times Facebook has abused the public's trust, and you know that, do you really think people should trust Facebook with their hard-earned money? Yes or no? Senator, you heard it directly from Mark, and I will reiterate this, that trust is primordial. I didn't hear it directly from Mark, I'm hearing it from you. It is, trust is primordial and we've made mistakes in the past and we have been working and are continuing to work really hard uh, to get better and uh, we've invested in a number of programs, notably on privacy, election integrity and a number of other issues. But I want to answer your question directly for Libra. The reason we designed Libra in such a way that Facebook will only be one among a hundred different members of the Libra Association and will have no special privilege uh, means that you will not have to trust Facebook. Well, we except, except, but Mr. Marcus, you know better than that. You know that only Facebook has access to two billion people, and all, all to, to say that that you are just one of many is simply is simply not true. After people's data and private messages have been stolen and sold, after you've let Russian bots try to throw the 2016 election, you really think people should trust you? with their bank accounts in our economy. I just think that's delusional. Let me ask a, let me ask a, uh, a related question. Do, if you think hardworking families should trust Facebook's monopoly money, see how much you and your company trust it. Uh, you get a paycheck in dollars, I assume. I assume you get some pretty good compensation in Facebook stock too. Will you pledge today in this committee that you and your team who are working on this project will accept 100% of your salary and other compensation in this Facebook currency. Senator, uh, Libra is not designed to compete with bank accounts or that, that, to compete with question. those things. The question is, will you accept your, your, all of your compensation in this new currency that you want us to trust you so much? Uh, Senator, uh, Libra is not meant to compete with bank accounts. We will, for instance, not uh, pay uh, interest 
uh, it's like cash, like digital cash. That, that, that's really avoiding the question. And do you trust? Do you trust your currency so much that you and your team are willing to see 100% of your compensation be paid to you in that currency, which it could be if you decided it could. Uh, Senator, if your question is whether I would trust uh, all of my uh, assets in Libra, uh, the answer is yes.